Hello, everybody. Thursday, September 26th. If you saw my video last night, I apologize if I bummed you out. If you are a fan of any other team besides the Mariners, perhaps it improved your mood. I don't know. But anyway, here we are. We have two TTMs. And I have two things in from eBay. And one's rather large. And I'll give you some warning before I open this because... It might be a good chance to just finish watching the video if the prospects of what is in here isn't very exciting. This, I have I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I just showed my address a couple times. I'll have to edit that out. I have a lot of stuff incoming from eBay, and some of it's kind of nickel and dime stuff. Uh, still, I think, interesting. But anyway, we'll, we'll do that second. Uh, first to the TTMs. Oakland, California. That eh, feels like two or three cards. Let's check it out. Mark Icorn. Oh, there's four here. Uh, 87 Fleer. 87 Leaf, which has these Canadian greats. There's only two Canadian greats cards in the set, and the other is Floyd Yaumans, who pitched for the Expos. And they both, I actually looked up their seasons in 86 and both had a really good year. So they were justified in uh, getting the Canadian greats tag there. Mark, I, oh, sorry, yeah. You already know it's Mark Icorn. 80, 92 tops. And there's a 92 pinnacle. Let's add the Canadian greats to our giveaway stack. On Sunday, I will be making a video on how to win those cards in the giveaway stack. I think there's four now, and there might be, who knows, another one or two by the time we get, by the time Sunday rolls around. Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Let's see. Hard-hitting Mark Witten, who always signs one for one, and one of one, rather, and always personalizes, which is no problem for me. 92 Ultra. Mark Witten, most famous for hitting four home runs in a game for the Cardinals, I believe, in 93. Eventually, he joined the Mariners for about 40 games, 50 games, 60 games in 1998. And he had a memorable home run at the Hubert A. Tumpery Metrodome to right field that bounced off the back wall. And then he hit a, a grand slam in... Uh, at the Kingdome against Baltimore that was a game winner that was like another monster shot. It wasn't as, wasn't as uh, far as the one against the Twins, but that's what I think of when I think of Mark Witten. Not the uh, four home run game. So um, I keep showing my address. I'm really not all that concerned about it. I'm, I kind of live out of the way, and you guys know I'm a pretty small pants collector. No one's going to be coming after my stuff, but uh, I still like to protect my privacy. Okay, so this is a stadium club lot that I bought off eBay. No major names in here. Uh, if you look at the checklist for the stadium club uh, certified autograph cards, you know, you'll find that, you know, it's pretty much, I don't want to say lower tier rookies, that's not fair. But when you're, when you're buying certain Topps products, it's with the understanding, you know, you're not pulling... Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. autograph or a Bo Jackson autograph. They might be in the set technically, but these are the cards you're getting, and that's totally fine. Um, I really like Stadium Club. If you see my other videos, you already know that. And I'm just kind of like a Stadium Club guy, and so I pick up um, even kind of lower and stuff like this whenever I can. So I got a deal on these because uh, you know it's the same seller and he combined shipping. So, Reese McGuire, the Blue Jays. Whoops, this isn't going to stay up. Nick Martini of the A's. And this I just got in on because, like I said, I got uh, lower shipping. So, like, I paid less than two bucks for this total. So, I figure I would pair it with these and... You get a nice Eloy rookie that's red. Okay, 
my warning for this monstrosity it's thick it's like substantial feel like oh we're and we're back and we're back you know a good youtuber would edit that out i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna leave it like that uh i got having some fun with my envelope there and i knocked the camera over so you've heard me talk about how i'm a blake snell fan before he's been hurt a lot this year has been really effective at times, ineffective at times. He worked his way back from his newest injury and has had and had one really good small, short appearance and one really bad short appearance. So I don't know how the Rays are going to use him, you know, should they get past the first round. I imagine he'll make starts and he'll have a very short leash uh, should the, the, should the uh, Rays survive the first round. Ooh. Basically, this is just a big Blake Snow lot, and I've sort of been picking up whatever I see of his that I like, and what's killing me is shipping, so I might find a card that I like, and I can bid on it for and win it for a dollar, which is great, but then to ship it for four dollars, it just doesn't make sense. So I found this huge lot. These are obviously protector cards. Found this huge lot and just figured there's like 15 cards in here that I don't have yet. And I paid, I think I paid six bucks for this thing delivered. So even if there was only three, I'm still coming out ahead. So I'm going to page through these uh, Blake Snell cards. And like I said, if that doesn't sound very exciting, then the video is over for you. But I'm already rolling here. I've already opened my other mail. So let's just do it. Maybe we'll maybe you'll see like a parallel you weren't aware of that existed or whatever. You add it to your own. I'm having a hard time with this. You know what's really awesome? Blue painter's tape. It's really awesome. Because it just comes off cleanly off of everything. And I appreciate that these arrive safely. That's most important. But why do people tape this flap over? Does that is that really doing anything? I don't think it is. If this was like this and these cards can slide, is that going to ruin a corner? I don't know. Grumpy old man, you saw that last night when you watched my my reaction video. That was a little different. It's kind of fun to do something a little different like that. Didn't even talk about cards for the first time ever. Uh, okay. So these are like kind of my extras, Joe Benson, Brandon Barnes. I think I got that one autographed in person at spring training one year. Um, promotion card. Okay, here we go. This is the National Baseball Card Day. Don't have that one yet. There, that would have been $5 if I bought that by itself. Topps Chrome, don't have. Bowman's Best, don't have. Another Chrome. Optic didn't have it. Heritage from last year or two years ago didn't have it. Uh, this is the uh, Holiday Snowflake. I forget the exact name. From last year didn't have it. Tops Fire didn't have it. There's some duplicates. Some duplicates. Quite a few chromes. Um, here's a nice one. Stadium Club, Rookie Card. More Bowman's Best. Tops from 2017. 2018 Heritage Leaders. More Tops. I right, starting to get from the Department of Redundancy Department. Oh, Derek Barton. Here's our extras. Jeff Bianchi. Chris Basick. Joe Benson. Okay, I'm going to put these up here before that falls over, because it will fall over. Other stack. What are we up to now in this video? Nine minutes. Most of it's been me looking through these. Joe Green, Colin Calgill. Here's more Heritage Leaders, two of those. Some of these I haven't even seen. I don't have this one. I hadn't even seen this one. I knew it existed. I hadn't seen it in person. Uh, Leather and Lumber, Life on the Edge. Interesting. 
There is a Donruss. I have the um, Zilla nickname version of that. And I have that one. And I have that one. Uh, Finest, I don't have that one. That's new. I have that. I have that. Another rookie card. Let's see. Another rookie card. I don't have that one, I don't think. The Heritage. Rookie debut. I do have that one. Ooh, Crusade. I've been wanting to get one of these in person. I cannot find this product anywhere. I, I cannot find um, Panini. Uh, what's the main product it's out of? This one was out of Prism. This must be... Oh, it says 2019. I just don't know that much about this, but I've seen these Crusade Crusades pulled. And they just look awesome. Just as awesome as in person as I thought they would. So this is the one that really caught my attention uh, in the scan or the auction. It looked kind of like a refractor. I'm still having trouble telling it's not, but I don't think I have it. So the Chrome um, Bowman from that year. More Heritage Bowman. Alan Ginter Bowman Platinum. I don't have that one. Now I have two. That's a repeat. Mostly doubles here. Nate Lowe, and not Brandon Lau of the Rays, but Nate Lowe of the Rays. Joe Benson, Quentin Berry, Jack Cust, some other rookie cards. Eddie Butler. Anyway, kind of a long video. Uh, maybe you saw a Snell in there that was like a, like a design or something you'd never seen, and you can go get your guy. That's what I'm telling myself to justify spending all that time on that. Now we got Mark Icorn and Mark Witten back for returns. Got a cool Eloy rookie from eBay along with the two. I say this in every video. I have to get stands, don't I? Yes, you do. Reese McGuire and Nick Martini, the other stadium clubs. Anyway, 12 minute video. God bless you. If you watch this whole thing, you are a better person than me. Until next time, over and out.